Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen and I'm the Restless Thrifter. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop occasionally. I'm gonna be sharing with you my sales for May 3rd through 5th. I do two sales videos a week, I break it up. I do weekend sales and then weekday sales, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday through Thursday. This is weekend sales. And Usually those are pretty good. My God, they were bad. I had six sales. I don't even know what happened, but I'm going to share them with you, all six of them. And then I'm going to share with you a haul update. I'm going to update you guys on the very first haul I posted on this channel. Um, some of you know I had an old channel, not that one, this new one. And it was a really cool garage sale haul. So I'm going to let you know what has sold and what hasn't in that haul just so i can provide a little more content for one thing but it's also really good for me to reflect on what i bought and all in all i did pretty good that day uh, i had estimated about 700 dollars in sales and if i just look at i'm going to kind of estimate how much i actually now, I know how much I made. I made profit $314.09, but the $700 number would be how much I was expecting to make before fees and, uh, and cost of goods came out. So let me look at that real quick. Okay, so so far I have made $472 in sales, and then I have five, six more things that could potentially sell. So it didn't get anywhere close to 700. I mean, it got, we'll round up to 500. Um, and then if you add in, uh, yeah, we'll say 550 is probably the max I'm going to get total. So, you know, I was off a bit. There were some things I thought would sell for higher that didn't, but I'll share those with you and I'll share the video clips and then a screenshot of what it sold for after i go over these six wonderful sales they're not even that good okay but they are sales <laughs> better than nothing it's not exactly the motto i want to have but it is the motto currently all right this first one is a levi's size medium ex-boyfriend trucker jacket premium denim medium wash jean jacket this sold in three weeks on eBay and I had it listed for $30. I sent an offer to Watcher for $24. Um, it also sold through promoted listings on eBay. My cost of goods was zero because I got this from a family member and my profit was $16.77. I have another one in a size extra small that I also got from a family member, but I didn't list it until later and it's still listed. The next, and this is actually the best sale I had for that weekend, is a Kate Spade soft pebbled leather tote slouchy shoulder bag black brown classic. This sold in five days on eBay. I had it listed for 50 and a customer offered me 40. My cost of goods was $10 at a church sale and my profit was $26.19. And then the other four sales are the ones I consider mediocre, but they are sales. Holy Bible Concordance. I don't know if that's the right way to say that word. I don't even know what it means. Subject in index, Prince of Peace edition, 1976, white hardcover. This sold in four and a half months on Mercari. It was a full price sale of $9. I paid $0 for this. This was at an estate sale, and I guess they were giving away Bibles. I profited $9. Next is something I got from the bin, so the Goodwill Outlet which we call the bins because they have these giant bins, usually blue, that you dig through and buy things by the pound. It's a KC Spencer size eight house dress, vintage button up, short sleeves, geo floral print. Sold in 10 months on eBay. <laughs> I don't know, would I pick this up again? Probably not, probably not. I had it listed for 15, a customer offered me seven. I had paid two, that was my estimated cost of goods at the bins that day, and my profit was $3.02. So no, probably not. Next to last sale is a Levi's Silver Tab size 
waist 32 jean shorts y2k cutoff 2008 light wash distressed this pair of shorts sold in two years on mercari <laughs> i didn't realize that they were like handmade cutoffs and they weren't exactly straight mm -mm. someone suggested that i might cut off some jeans into shorts um, to sell them better and i won't do it myself Whoever did these didn't do a good job, and I don't think I would do a very good job either. So if somebody wants to buy a pair of jeans from me and then turn them into shorts, they can. I had these listed for $16. A customer offered me $14. They did sell three days after relisting. So as a reminder, delist and relist your items. I like to do it, you know, every single day I'm delisting and relisting something. I call it DNR, which is kind of the opposite of what it sounds like. Ah, uh, what is my cost of goods? Was way too much at five dollars and forty-one cents. It was the silver tab that got me. I was like, oh yeah, silver tab. Those are cool. And my profit was eight dollars and fifty-nine cents. I got these at a Goodwill in Colorado. And then the last sale is a Vault Boy Action Figures Lot of Two Funko LLC, two thousand fifteen loose two and a half inch and three and a half inch. Two different little Vault Boy action figures. I'm pretty sure this sold because of the Fallout show that is on Prime now. Took two years and four months to sell. Sold on Mercari. Full price sale of $7. I had paid $0.60. Cents. I got these like in a grab bag at ARC, which is a chain of thrift stores in Colorado. My profit was $6.40. It was bad. <laughs> I don't really know what happened. It was bad, but I'm gonna share with you a haul update from a really good garage sale haul. It was, wasn't one garage sale, it was multiple garage sales. It was the first one that my husband and I went to after we moved back to Texas from Colorado. And I don't remember what time of year it was, but I did the haul video in December of last year and most things have sold. I picked up 22 items, 15 have sold, six have not, and one I haven't even listed yet for no reason other than I just keep forgetting and listing other things. Before I share that video, please give me a thumbs up. I do have an increase in weekly sales overall. I'm going to share a chart with you as well at the end of this video that's going to show how my weekly sales are climbing and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm doing this full time. I'm not making full time money yet. Okay. But it's getting better. So I want to share with it that with you at the end after the haul update. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. It's free. And then you'll be able to catch my videos two or three times a week. I also want to say thank you to all my returning viewers. And if you're new, welcome. I promise that most videos I'm selling more than six things. Okay. This was a little bit different, but here we go with the haul video. Enjoy. And again, at the end, I will share that chart of my weekly sales. There's three designs and they're all teddy bears, all by the same artist. And there's 36 cards total. The artist is Sharon Cartwright. She didn't come up as anyone like well known. They're from Colorado Springs. The brand is called Current Nostalgic Teddies and Stockings. And I don't know if I have also 36 envelopes. I feel like I don't, but I want to count them. And I'm going to sell them all as a big bundle for $19.96. That's what I'm going to list them as. Also at the same ladies sale was this vintage tote bag. I don't know if it had ever been used just based on how clean it is inside. It's got that tapestry, also really popular in the 80s, that floral tapestry. Um, florals like this, big florals were really popular. And then I got that for a dollar and then for another dollar I got this. And the brand's Adolfo. Nothing super fancy. It's faux leather. I, I got it based purely off of style. This could be cottage core, 
this could just be that, you know, romantic 80s look. And it's a really cute makeup bag, toiletry bag. And I found similar comps for this brand and pattern as well. Um, what I did find were more of the Weekender bag, which is larger than the tote bag. But I'm going to price these two as a set at $24.96. And the very first garage sale we stopped at, I got two sweaters. And this one is a Dale of Norway, vintage Dale of Norway. But I will be providing good measurements all the way around for shoulders, arm, you know, everything, because I want to make sure that someone has the measurements to go by, because it does say it's a size 50, and I don't understand what that means in Dale of Norway sizing just yet, but there's, you can see that's a, an old Dale of Norway tag, and it's cute. It's the classic reindeers, navy blue and cream, and I haven't seen any stains or holes in it yet, so we'll see how that goes. She was charging $3 for her sweaters, but I ended up getting it for $2.50 um, based on everything I had my hands again. I was like, how about everything for, and it knocked off a dollar, basically. And that sweater I'm going to list with offers for $74. And that's one where I'm like, okay, it just depends on sizing, style, everything else that's out there at the moment. Dale of Norway's not super rare. You can find it. And then at the same sale, also for $2.50, it's not a Coogie, Coogie, Coochie, Coogie, <laughs> but it is, um, it is the Notorious B.I.G., Biggie Smalls, Big Papa, whatever you want to call him. You can also say Cosby, but I don't really want to promote that man. Roundtree in York, what, Macy's or Dillard's or something like that. Size large, cotton and acrylic made in Bulgaria. Wow, I haven't seen anything made in Bulgaria before. Not that I can remember. And it's got beautiful colors. It is a little bit more muted than some of the more popular ones, but it is still colorful. And it's got those great ziggy zags and 3D effects. It's a pretty cool sweater. I do like it. And I'm going to price this one without offers at $49.96. I'm hoping that it'll just sell like that outright based on everything it's got going for it. Okay, this. Aren't we always looking for Harley out at garage sales? Harley Davidson, super clean, sharp looking embroidery, orange and black got patches on both arms, some on the shoulders as well. Um, no personalization, which is good for resale. And then it's a size large and it's authentic, Harley. It's just got a lot of good things going for it. I got it for $3. I actually was going to pay four, but for some reason she gave us a dollar back. Harley Davidson size large shop shirt. I'm in a list for $34.96. That may seem low. Okay, also at the Harley sale, I got a bunch of new in-box items. When it comes down to it, they were $2.50 each. One of them is something we're keeping for ourselves. Um, this is a doTERRA aroma diffuser. It's brand new in the box. It doesn't come with oils. This is the plug. I was hoping it was coming with oils but no oils, but this is a popular brand for oil diffusers. And I'm gonna list it at nine, nine, uh, 1996. And it seemed to have a decent sell through rate. There weren't like a million listed. Okay, same sale, got this for 250. It is a baby item. What is it? Yoga Sleep Hush. I'm assuming it makes some sort of like white noise. It says three soothing sounds portable sound machine and night light. So again, new in box, this is sealed. I can't even take it out to show you. I'm gonna list it for $14.96, ah, this item. My husband wants to keep this if it doesn't sell. When we met, he had one of these and I hated it because it put the light 
of the time up on the ceiling, really big and red. And I'm like, no, I need, Andy, you slept with a sound machine. I was like, I need silence and dark. And now I'm old and I just need sleep. <laughs> so um, I don't think this will bother me anymore. And now I use a really loud fan to sleep. So, you know, I made him change all his sleep habits and now we're kind of back to what he preferred anyway. Sharper image weather projection clock. And it, I really didn't find a lot of sharper image for sale. I did see other brands and I'm gonna list it at $24.96. Again, I paid $2.50. Another new inbox item. This is a cross tour car recorder. It's not like the latest and greatest car recorder. I think that's like a dash cam. And let me see if I can show it to you at all. Accessories, no, not really. There's a picture, I think, in one of the comps that I can show you. Um, oh, there's kind of a picture on the front of the box. Yeah, so like a dash cam car recorder. I'm gonna list it for $25.96. Uh, at the sale where the lady was selling the Christmas stuff, I think. Um, they were selling a bunch of bobbleheads. This is the only one that was new in the box. Like, I don't know if they had the boxes for the rest of them, but this guy was in his box and Stephen kind of wanted it, you Darvish. Um, so he'll keep it if it doesn't sell as well. There were some others online. This is not a bolo or anything. And I'm gonna try to get $14.96 for him. He's a K counter, so you can like count how many strikeouts or whatever he I don't know. what Baseball is the most boring sport to me. It's fun to go to a game, but I don't actually watch the game. Uh, just really, really random items, right? But these guys, these are so cute. These are little baby books that you, you know, can have in the water. I don't know who's reading in the bathtub. This is, um, you know, teaching the kids early that, you know, it's relaxing to read, I guess. And these are from the 90s. They look older to me, but they're Warner Brothers from the 90s. I did find like a set of four unopened. Somebody had listed for over $100. So, and I didn't see solds, I don't think, but I certainly didn't see anything sold for like that kind of money. I'm gonna list these for $25 and allow offers. At one garage sale where they had mostly junk, like big time junk, I picked up this. It's just Bath & Body Works. It's not brand new. Midsummer Dream. I don't like the fragrance, to be honest. It's a little too sweet for me. It's like candy. And this stuff only retails for $15.50. I don't think you can buy it brand new anymore, but the girl wanted $2. I said, I'll give you a dollar. I'm not buying, paying for used body mist. That's who knows how long old $2, you know, this I'm going to list for $8.96 and maybe I'll just list it on Mercari only. Okay. The next items are two pair of Tory Burch that do have a little wear on the heel and toe and I probably paid too much for these. I wasn't sure what Tory Burch flats were going for anymore. I am still going to try to get 40 or 50 for these, but I think you can get flats for much lower now, like 25 or 30. Um, I'm hoping after I put a little, um, leather conditioner on them that they'll look nicer than the other ones for sale. Cause they really like, you're not going to see that easily when someone's walking or standing or whatever, you have to be looking up their shoes. And this is a size six and a half. The other is a size seven. So they are also a smaller size. This is like a dove gray, French gray. And then the next pair I think are the called the Melinda. And these are um, in a little bit better condition. They still have some scuffing on the toes. Maybe they're about the same condition. It's just the heels don't seem to have as much wear. And these are the sevens. 
the Melinda. And I'm gonna try to get 50 for these as well. I'm gonna allow offers. Um, so is there anything else? Oh yeah, the, the pillow. Let me look it up real quick because I, I can't remember what I was seeing this pillow sell for. This one is brand new, but we have opened the package. We thought we were getting something else. We did not realize we were buying just a pillow. The same pillow sold for $33.99. Um, two packs can go for anywhere from 60 to 118. And here's another one that sold a single pillow for 75, but with free shipping. We only paid $5. It's a king sized sleep gram. There's the logo. And inside here are two pillows that you can unzip and I don't understand. <laughs> I guess you unzip it and you can modify it to have it be thicker or thinner. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's From 1986 and there's five of them and they are, Reacher, let's not squeak the ball right now. They are um, so cute. They're unused is what I was gonna try to say. And my husband who can read Roman numerals without having to look it up, unlike me, said that said 1986, which seems about right for Ziggy. So I'll sell these five together. For the entire stack, I bought them for a dollar. Um, she wanted two and then I was like, well, what I have right now in my hands is nine. Can we throw it in for a dollar so that makes it even 10? She said, sure. And these I'm gonna list for $12.96. And then the next one is these vintage postcards. I think all of these are 80s. Little teddy bears like that were super popular in the 80s. And these are some Christian Christmas postcards. There are like 15 in here, so it's not a complete pack. Did have 20. And across the miles, though far apart, his love joins us heart to heart. And it's got little bears exchanging gifts, and then it's got a um, Matthew something or other on the back. So these don't have a date, but I'm gonna list them as um, 80s as well. And these, um, let me see what I have here. I'm gonna list them for $9.96, this little set of cards. I got these. These are also vintage 80s Christmas card holder unused so what you would call this new old stock and this has 1985 on it and it's a cute wreath that you put together and then you stick the cards in to hold them and it's it's really cute i did find one exactly like it online and this is from mind's eye bath england this is from england and I have this that I'm gonna list for $15.96. Let me know if you think I'm on or off with these die cut uh, vintage decorations. I've never picked them up before. And so I am curious about the pricing on these. I only found one like this listed. Maybe one sold as well, I'm trying to remember. And then this one, I think I can get much more for also vintage die cut. This is from Moorhead and it's a Santa with his sleigh and reindeer. Where are the gear? Where's the gear? And then these little things are card holders. So this is also a Christmas card holder. You can see the instructions there, what it would look like, those little card holders hang down. And then I'm not sure how you attach them to the card holders, but you attach them they may be sticky or something. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't read the directions completely. But this cute thing, I think I can get $55. So I've listed $54.96 for this. That is what I want to get based on similar yet less cool things, in my opinion. Let me put those noisy things down. Okay. Did I say how much? Those were a dollar each. Here's just an oddball item. It's a sun catcher. You can just hang outside or put in your window. Probably in a window would be really pretty. Kind of lost its circularness a little bit in my bag. It's made of safety pins and plastic beads. So it's just a handmade crafty item, but I thought it was cute. 
I might include words like rainbow and pride, even though it's not a full rainbow. Um, sun catcher, and I'm gonna list it for $9.96. Not a whole lot. I paid $1, I think, for this, one or two. I think it was just one. Okay, this was a Nordstrom gift box <laughs> with a almost new looking purse. It's an interesting style, but I just, you know, anything that's this beaded and it's 100% silk material with all these beads, I thought was really, really pretty. And a chain, um, how do you wear that? I guess that's like supposed to be kind of like a clutch right underneath. <laughs> I don't know. I would definitely not have anywhere to wear this. Um, it's too blingy for me. Those shells would fall off immediately. But it's silk. The brand is called Christiana. Again, it's not designer or anything. It's really heavy, all those beads on it. And she gave this to me for $5. I'm gonna list it for $49 and allow offers because these were really kind of all over the place. I didn't see exactly this style, but I did see the brand of silk beaded purses and it seemed like you can get that for them. So it might be a great gift. It's already in a gift box, by God. All right, so some interesting things. I mean, mostly I pick up clothes when I go to thrift stores. I've started to pick up more home goods. When I'm going to garage sales, I'm really grabbing a lot of different things, a lot of variety, things that are out of my wheelhouse. My husband comes with me, and so he'll, you know, point out different things like that U Darvish bobblehead. The Rangers had just won the World Series, so they had a bunch of their Rangers bobbleheads, and I bought that one because it was new in the box. Maybe the others would have sold too. I didn't want to get involved in having too many bobbleheads. Um, what else did he pick out? Oh, he picked out the sleep gram pillow, but we thought it was a mattress topper that we were gonna, we were going to keep. Um, and he picked out that sharper image clock. Um, uh, I think that's probably about it, but he's a big help to me. He holds all my stuff for me while I'm looking. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have had an increase in sales not every week, you know, it kind of, but it's going up and I'm going to share a chart. This is showing, um, my weekly sales and it's getting better. It's getting better because first and foremost, I am listing more. I am also listing better things than I was last year. This is just this year, by the way, you'll see five, 10, 15. Those are, um, the week numbers. So, Around five, that's about when February starts. 10, that's about when March starts and so on. And that dip at the bottom is just because I'm in the middle of the week or something when I'm showing you these sales. Um, that actually goes through May 19th. So it's a little bit ahead of the game. So you can see that the videos to come are gonna have better sales numbers. So that's cool. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys because as I've said, I do this full time in the sense that it's the only thing I do, but I haven't gotten up to full time money and I'm really not even sure how many hours I'm putting in. I am going through some issues with a chronic illness or two and I'm getting better and I'm just trying to pull myself back up to working full time. I do have to take a lot of breaks. I, I work from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. It's just I have to take a lot of breaks in the middle. So all that to say is things are looking up in the next couple of videos. You'll see that for sure. You guys have a great day and just keep listing.